Can you tell me your name? Alfred Bello. And uh, how old are you, Alfred? 71. And uh, where were you born? Born in the Aslam Tanganyika. I am Anita Ribello. And uh, how old are you, Anita? Um, I was born in the late 1940s, very late 1940s. So, put and where were you born? I was born in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, which is uh, part of East Africa. And Tanzania was one of three sort of states in East Africa. And um, can you tell me a little bit about the area that your parents were living in, in Dar es Salaam? In Dar es Salaam, it was a town center because it was not a big town. And um, the majority of Goans at the time were living in a just, just, just outside the center. It's not very far, about a quarter of a mile out from the center, half a mile from the center, which was known as Gerozani. Now, uh, who would your neighbors have been? Quite a lot of Goans. I remember a lot of Goans, uh, one or two Indians. This is in the first, uh, we, remo we moved from uh, Kurazini, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Kurazini, uh, moved to a place called Changombe. Now this was about 10 miles out of the main uh, city center. Do you know why you would have moved? Probably for a better, maybe, I don't know, I honestly don't know, you know, for a better uh, ambience or what, but here uh, the houses were nicer. Um, and and I think they, um, here there was a mixed community. There were a lot of Ismailis who'd, uh, who'd also build their own Jamatkana there. Okay, there were Hindus, so we had um, all sorts of neighbors. The Africans lived in villages around, outside of, of Changombe. Um, I, they, they, they went to India and got married. Or got the, because my mother said when, when she was, uh, came down from India on the ship, she got married and came with my dad. And there were eight li uh, girls on, on the ship who were going to East Africa to marry. They didn't even know who they were marrying. And she said to her, they said to her, you're lucky, you at least you know who you married. Um, so, so he worked as an accountant in Dar Salaam and then decided to go and find himself a bride. And that's where the marriage proposal thing came in. And in fact, uh, my mother uh, had no interest in getting married to him, not only because of a 13-year-old, a 13-year age gap, he was quite handsome, but he was, there was a 13-year gap. But she wanted to carry on with her education, advance her education, you know. But eventually she decided she would. What do you remember about your school years? Ah, oh, lovely. Um, my uh, school was St. Joseph's Convent, a uh, Roman Catholic school. It was run by Swiss Capuchin nuns. Um, and as I mentioned before, we had classmates of all colors, so we all got on well together. It was next to the um, uh, old German cathedral. I think it's about 105 years old now. Uh, beautiful German cathedral. And so um, the nuns would teach us um, our first communion. We had an old nun, small little thing, who taught us first holy communion and then we received it at the cathedral next door. From our school, it was, uh, we had, they had the front wall overlooked the harbor, the, uh, overlooked that whole inlet that led to the harbor. Um, and uh, it had um, big sort of holes in the wall. You could look through there, you could see the ships coming in. It was a narrow inlet. Uh, and in fact, many a time, if people are going on ships, you could stand on the on the shore and actually see them and wave to them. It was, and these are ocean-going liners, you know, going to the harbor. Getting my scene, getting my results. I joined the bank, Barclays Bank. Can you tell me in what capacity you joined? As, as a clerk, as a clerk. And who would your boss have been? The immediate boss was a Goan chap, uh, administration manager. He was a Mr. Masculine is very old fashioned chap. And <laughs> so we had a good laugh on his cause, but he, very old man, early chap. But well, there are a lot of other goings in the bank. That particular branch of Barclays was known as Magoa. My mom is, is, a, 
is a term American sorry Swahili term local language term for for what's it called like the uh, musical Magua branch because uh, the majority of us were gone.